What's up you guys and welcome back to another How to Play as in Heroes of the Storm. Today we talk about Nazebo the Witch Doctor. He has a title but I don't remember what it was anyway. He's effective against groups of enemies by summoning spiders, zombies, and frogs. He siphons health and mana from dying foes. He's cool. We'll just, you know, put it that way. Oh, I always thought that was a gem. I never thought that was, like, helping skull surgery. Let's go Grim Skull. Sounds like something from Warhammer. I hear you call. Let's do this! To Cassid Hollow we go. Cause it ain't gonna rain no more no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. Conquer, kill, collect. Ah, oh, damn it! We have an Abathur. I am with you. I guess a high-powered team. That's gonna be fun. So we got a blood ritual or voodoo ritual. His trait. Returns more health and mana. Death Ritual, the battle begins in where minion kills increase max health and mana. Yeah, I bet your father won't stand four, a chance alone. Three, two, and I'll end up taking that one. Demolitionist, basic attack, yes, destroy ammo, yield to your structures, and bribe. We've seen bribe. Ah and I'm riding on my faithful Nazebra. That's an email. Don't care about that. Your suggestion is based on gigantic. I don't care about gigantic community. I want to play gigantic. You jerks. So Abathur will be lovely support down here. Oh, we get to deal with Tracer too. He definitely wouldn't have stood a chance. So I play. If you played Diablo three, then you'll already know. Kind of had a play as Nazebo. And there is no end to this quest, so you can theoretically uh, <coughs> increase your health and mana indefinitely for as long as the match goes. Nazebo is in this. The Nazebo. This, <coughs> this version of Nazebo is. Really good at taking care of solo heroes. His attacks deal additional damage over time, and with this, I'll just end up out uh, having more health than I think every character combined in this game. Which, although his defenses don't go up, this will allow him to to like be able to hold better ground against higher damage heroes. Because right there, Tracer even took down half my health immediately. So it's not foolproof, but it is really good. And even does damage over time against structures. And you can use spiders to harass whatever kind of thing you're dealing with. Mainly because it's they're not considered projectiles, so they can sit there and target whatever closest thing to heck. So let's see. We have Spider Cluster. Response additional corpse spiders. Uh, gathering power, we've seen that one before. Heroes. Which is tribute. it's uh, takedowns provide more ability power. I'll probably take that one anyway. We have Mercenary Lord, where nearby mercs are stronger and you take less damage from them. That's nearby. And Venom. And promote. Target minion takes less and deals more damage. I'm recall eventually, right? So I'm going to go with Gathering Power. I got the first tribute. Right 
You could definitely you could use the zombie wall to, to help engage towers. Because they'll focus on the thing that I think they focus on whatever's inside the zombie wall first. Which is t which is usually reserved for heroes or minions. So this will either be a very close game or a one-sided game. But we'll see. Next, we have Gidbin, which increases zombie wall and corpse spider durations. Fresh corpses, which reduces zombie wall cooldown, and Toad Affinity. Play Toads for Storm Mana and reduce cooldown on each enemy hit. That was usually not worth it, so I go with Gidbin. Which, which uh, we'll end up working out with something a little better later on. First blood. Yay! I got first blood. I now have two percent ability power. <laughs> well done, friend. I know that doesn't sound very good right now, but whatever. <laughs> That's cool to me. <laughs> okay, let's take these missiles, guys. Okay, so with Abathurst, with Abathurst secure, he can single-handedly push a lane. As long as they keep spawning down where they aren't hiding out, we'll be fine. But that is a massive team push, and Sylvanas is in the enemy team. Which means they could have effectively won the game right then and there, but... I'll have to try and stop them. Or at least take down the giants. Chase him back, chase him back, way back. Shall we see who gathers in our tribute this time? Oh, Crudnix. And I don't have a heroic ability yet. Turn around and strike the Lily. Yeah! I'll quickly go with Gargantuan and do this. Help me, you fool. Okay, Gargantuan, go! Now that worked out. So this is a favorite from... This is one of my personal favorites from... Di uh, Diablo 3 itself. My favor is yours. Ha ha, sucker! And it also has a little hidden characteristic if you pick it. The other, uh, the other one was a ravenous spirit. Channel a ravenous spirit that deals 280 damage per second. Cannot move while channeling. And it itself is invulnerable, so... You can use that to take down enemies really quickly. I just find more uses out of the Gargantuan because it op it's, uh... It deals 242 damage to nearby enemies when summoned, attacks for 312, and can be ordered to stomp, dealing 290 damage. What it doesn't tell you... is that it can also pick up minions and deal critical damage with them. Enemy minions. Now, we have Dead Rush, with wall of zombies deal more damage and up roots. Uh, Toad of Huge Toads of Hugeness, which plays a toad's damage and area increases each hop. Things like the deep increases my ability range. I never actually tried that one. Uh, 
Well, never too late to try at Ice Block. Oh no, I've been mind controlled. That was useless, Solanus. I don't know why you did that. So when we hit level 20, I'll be using Gargantuan a lot. I reserve it for now mainly because it has 20 seconds. It's only 20 seconds. <coughs> Keep eliminated. And I'm pretty much hinting exactly the nature of the ability that I'm talking about here. Who wants to capture this mercenary camps? Now we might actually end up winning very quickly, so I'll have to start using it. If we end up winning this quickly, I will be shocked beyond belief. I kinda like this increased range, actually. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Nope, that's not good. Okay, are you guys done polybombing? Let's go. I think Abathur has been quietly pushing the other lane. So, things to note. Plague of Toads. It's got good range. And well, it only... It doesn't deal much damage, but it's good for helping clear minion waves. Or getting those last minute shots in. Wall of, as the zombie wall, definitely try and use during a team fight to like prevent people from escaping. Yeah, we might not even make it to level 20. And otherwise, try to use Zombie Wall when your enemies are incapacitated. Which would hopefully keep them from escaping, but freaking Tracer, she could just blink right out of it. Now, we have Specialized Toxins. Specialized Toxin, which increases damage against heroes. That's always good. Leaping Spiders, which Corpse Spiders leap at enemies and deal more damage. Plague Toads will create Corpse Spiders upon exploding. And Hardened Focus we've seen already, so... Well done. Oh, I forgot to have you stop following me. <laughs> oh well, that was worth it. So, we are gonna go with... I guess Specialized Toxin. Because I don't really like upgrading play the toes that much. I just don't find it that useful, I guess. No, stay away from me. Don't polybomb me. Why me? Ah! Suck it down, Sylvanas. Ha ha ha. Get him, Tim! Get him! See, there you have it. Actually, I don't think he did it. I'm trying to think of a name for my Gargantuan in both Diablo 3 and Heroes. And I'm having a bit of trouble with it. If anybody feels like trying to help me figure out a name for him, by all means, leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Right now, I'm currently calling him Tim. As a Monty Python reference and joke. Get him, Tim! Get him! 
The choice is simple. Maybe. I am so out of mana. Never mind, we just won. These catapults are devastating now. Was there any question? Wow, that might have been the shortest battle I've ever. No. I take it back. That wasn't the shortest I've ever done. That might have been the shortest recording I've done yet. Except I'll be gabbing about it a little more. Alright, talents. I think we only... Yeah, we didn't get to level 20. So, what I would have ended up taking was Humongoid, where Gargantuan lasts indefinitely until killed and deals 100% more damage against non-heroic targets. I think this is when he lifts up enemy minions and starts dealing critical damage. For like... Four strikes, maybe? Then no. Annihilating Spirit increases the range of Ravenous Spirit by 50% and the movement speed by 30. And the other two we've seen already. But I would have taken Hubongoid and Tim would have been unstoppable. But that was Nazebo. Uh, yeah, that was Nazebo. And next time we'll be playing as Nova. From StarCraft II, the Dominion Assassin. And I must say, she's got quite the bodysuit. What is it with Blizzard and giving their characters body shots? Hey look, Widowmaker! Anybody playing Overwatch would know that one. I might just pick Widowmaker, but I love the Spectres more. But anyway, that's been out of play as you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later!